Okay, then. How are you? Hey, everybody. I got a really special, special introduction for you guys tonight. Um, I wanted to introduce everybody to Buggy. I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with Buggy's story. Um, she's a real special case. Um, a real one of a kind. Uh, she was brought to my attention through a friend of the page who's actually helped me in saving both Skyla and Jasmine as they were at one point together and then separated. Both ended up in bad situations and ended up here. And Jasmine, of course, had Squeaker with her. Uh, she also put me in touch with in the, to the lady who initially rescued Buggy. Um, and basically after about two months of talking, felt comfortable enough with me to take Buggy. Um, Buggy's story goes kind of like this. The lady that rescued her found her on Craigslist. Um, I think she was like $75. And when she met with the girl to get her, she noticed that, uh, the condition Buggy was in, the condition the girl was in, the condition that her car was in, and it appeared that she was living out of it. She had stuff packed to the ceiling, and it was her and Buggy. And the lady that rescued Buggy was gonna actually call the police and turn this lady in. Um, for animal abuse after seeing what kind of shape Buggy was in. She was emaciated. Uh, she had, was as small as 3.1 3 pounds when she got her. And as you can see from her legs here, um, they, don't, they don't look quite right. Um, Buggy has been physically abused and I've actually had the vet take x-rays for me to make sure this wasn't something congenital, that it was in fact abuse. And, it, and the x-rays actually show that both of these legs have been fractured. Um, you know, she's got some issues with her eyes that they, they can attribute to head trauma. Um, so anyway, the, the story that the girl told the, the lady that rescued her was that, you know, she was escaping her abusive ex-boyfriend moving back in with her parents, but couldn't take Buggy with her. And that the ex-boyfriend had taken out, you know, when he was done beating on her, beat on Buggy. Um, I don't know how much validity is to that because... You know, Buggy bonded with me so fast. I, there's, as of all the dogs here, the strongest bonds I believe I have, as far as them to me, needing me personally, is Buggy and Nugget. Um, and I, I can't tell you how quickly Buggy bonded. Uh, within 10 minutes in the car, she wouldn't leave my lap. And as you can see, she's perfectly content just laying on me all day long. Um, in addition to that, Buggy has not made friends with a single person, including Connie here. Um, she protects me. She does not let any females come near her. So I almost wonder if it was the truth or not. Or maybe this girl was taking her, um, the abuse that she was taking, she was taking it out on the dog. Either way, Buggy didn't deserve this. And the reason we're having this conversation or this introduction tonight is some things that have arisen in the last week. Um, when I took Buggy to the vet a while back, it was clear that at some point we we're going to have to make the decision as to whether or not to re-break and set her legs again. And of course the vet said the longer we wait in life, the harder the chances of her having full, you know, the most uh, range of motion and mobility possible. As, as she gets older, it would get tougher. Um, I don't know what's happened in the last week or so, but Buggy's uh, kind of deteriorated a little bit. She's having a lot of trouble walking. Uh, she can no longer do steps. Um, She's been staying in my room. That's why you guys haven't really seen much of her. Uh, the picture I took of her for the tour around the island was actually here in my bedroom, whereas everybody else was either downstairs or outside. She was just laying in here resting. Um, her appetite has been affected, and I'm noticing that the one, the one leg, both legs actually are starting to go even worse uh, than, than when they first got here. So I've been in touch with the vet, and... We're going in tomorrow morning at 9.30 to meet with the orthopedic surgeon to discuss, so to re-x-ray the legs, see how much they've changed since the last time, and um, to, to take, uh, to see what steps need to be taken next. Uh, we are thinking it's probably gonna be surgery though, so, um, you know, this poor cute little baby's been through so much. She's got such a wonderful heart. She does not deserve any of this, but um, she's gonna have to deal with it nonetheless. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach Buggy's initial story uh, to, this, to this post so that you guys can get the backstory on her and everything. Um, and then just prayers for this little girl. She's got a rough road ahead of her. Thank you. Hey, good baby girl. Say hi. Yeah.